Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, the real reason Joe Budden edited out the Diddy segment from his podcast. Don't believe the rumors? I've got the full breakdown and the truth behind why it happened. Stay till the end to understand the full story and hear exclusive insights you won't find anywhere else. Let's dive into the controversy that has everyone talking. On a recent episode of the Joe Budden podcast, a segment discussing a graphic video of Diddy assaulting Cassie was mysteriously edited out. This episode, uploaded on a Saturday, originally promised to cover CNN's explosive video reveal at the one hour, eight minutes and three seconds mark. However, when fans tuned in, the segment was missing, prompting immediate speculation and investigation on social media. Listeners quickly noticed the discrepancy and were vocal about it. One tweet summed it up. The Diddy topic was 100% edited out of the Joe Budden podcast, and whoever uploaded the podcast initially forgot to remove the Diddy timestamps from the description. This tweet sparked a wave of discussions and theories online, leading to Joe Budden himself joining a Twitter Spaces chat to explain what happened. But about on a serious note, though, like you don't see how your silence on this topic is a large part of the reason why abuse continues to take place from people of power religiously, because it's like people who have these relationships, people who actually know what's going on, they are afraid to actually speak on it because of that. Like, like you, you, you don't see that being a real thing. Uh, I, I see that's a real thing. What, what does that have to do with me? It has everything to do with you. You what? are the you are you have the large one of the largest platforms. Period. Not just hip hop, but one of the largest platforms. Period. But specifically when it comes to hip hop, and then you have Diddy, who made his name there, and your voice, the loudest voice in hip hop, is just silent on it, and it's been silent. And I can see this was a one time thing. But any time something with Diddy has come up, there's always been some excuse. It's like, oh, no, we got to paywall this. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to wait till all the evidence comes out. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do it. And it's always something, one thing after another, where it's like you just, you treat him like the boogeyman. And I'm waiting for the Joe I know to find his courage to speak on it. Because I saw how you addressed the Duce Palooza conversation years ago. Mm. Strong message. All right. All right. <laughs> Niggas, it's nuts. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Come on, somebody say something, goddammit. Yo, do you guys ever just think that everything is not this deep conspiracy that y'all want it to be? Like, we were dead in the middle of our broadcast yesterday. Come on, I'll put the suspense to bed. We were in the middle of our show when that news broke. So we spoke about it for four minutes, and then at the end, before sleepers, we spoke about it for another four minutes, and then we went on about our day. And I went outside with Amani last night, and he said to me, hey, man, I think I think y'all should readdress the puff shit because y'all going to get killed. And I said, why? The, the story was breaking. We addressed it. He said, yeah, but it wasn't the address it wasn't the address that is appropriate for what happened. I said, why you say that? We did what we needed to do. He said, yeah, but the, I know y'all audience. And it was breaking in the moment. They wait from, from y'all. So I took it out. I took it out because it was insensitive for the moment. It was, it was talking for four minutes about what happened. And in three minutes at the end is not the attention that the story needs. And it ain't the commentary that it needs. So I don't need to be the first one to run to something. We're going to get to it on Wednesday. But what do that have to do with the way y'all are speaking in this moment? Why do y'all think after seeing a video like that, that somebody is running from a topic? Like I done told y'all the last time, I have absolutely zero ties with Diddy or anybody Diddy related outside of seeing his kids when I'm outside. Why do y'all think that somebody's a scared to approach something? You niggas have been sounding stupid all morning long, and I didn't want it to continue all the way in the afternoon. So here we are. But some of y'all niggas, y'all are relating this stuff to like battle rap. Y'all talking about trade. <laughs> like, what are y'all doing? Get a grip. 
Get a grip, relax, go outside, kiss your family. Let me bring some more of these people up here. You niggas are fucking nuts. According to Budden, the podcast crew was in the middle of recording when the news about the video broke. They decided to address the issue briefly, but Budden later received advice suggesting that the way they handled the topic was insensitive. I went outside with Emani last night, and he said to me, Hey man, I think you all should readdress the puff shit because y'all gonna get killed. And I said, Why? The story was breaking. We addressed it. He said, Yeah, but it wasn't the address that is appropriate for what happened, Budden explained. This prompted Budden to make the decision to remove the segment entirely. He added, I took it out because it was insensitive for the moment. It was talking for four minutes about what happened. And in three minutes at the end, it was not the attention that the story needed. And it wasn't the commentary that it needed. So I don't need to be the first one to run to something. Despite Budden's explanation, fans were not convinced. They speculated that the podcast team was trying to protect their relationship with Diddy or avoid backlash. However, Budden insisted that he has sat absolutely zero ties to Diddy and questioned why people seemed afraid to speak on the mogul. This isn't the first time Budden has faced criticism for editing his podcast episodes. In 2023, he took to Instagram Live to explain why another episode discussing a lawsuit Cassie filed against Diddy was edited. He stated, I had to do a little bit of editing because y'all almost got me. Y'all almost got me to be the only voice out there saying some shit. Nah, them blogs would have had a field day with that podcast this morning. Nope. Sometimes you got to protect your peace and your co-host peace. I ain't playing with y'all. The editing of the Diddy segment has raised several questions. Why did Joe Budden feel the need to remove it? Was it genuinely out of sensitivity? Or were there other motivations at play? And what does this mean for the integrity of the Joe Budden podcast? Budden assured his audience that the JBP crew would officially address the situation in a future episode. He emphasized that they were not running away from the topic or trying to protect Diddy. However, this incident has undoubtedly added another layer of complexity to the public's perception of both Joe Budden and his podcast. This controversy highlights the delicate balance content creators must maintain when addressing sensitive topics. It also underscores the power of social media in holding public figures accountable. As we await further clarification from Joe Budden and his team, one thing is clear. Transparency and thoughtful commentary are more critical than ever in the podcasting world. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Don't forget to like, comment your thoughts, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.